Hey, welcome to Haphazard Homestead. I'm glad you're here. Do you ever wonder when lamb's quarter gets too old to use? How about red root pigweed or amaranth? I made a video about lamb's quarter showing when it was younger. And then here comes Colleen Wallace. Hi, Colleen. And she had a comment and a question. Colleen says, I have a plant that fits all the descriptions. Powdery stem, but no powder on the leaves. It has a white small spike of flowers. Could this be it? So I made this video for Colleen and you so you can tell whether you've got older lamb's quarter around you. This video has five parts to it. I hope you find enough value in each one of them to watch the video all the way through. In the first part, I'm just gonna do a quick recap of the young lamb's quarter to see what it is. In the second part, I'm gonna look at the older lamb's quarter. In the third part, I'm gonna have a bonus. I'm gonna be looking at red root pigweed. That's because lamb's quarter and pigweed often grow together. And there's some important points about looking at older plants and deciding which parts of them are worth using as it plant matures. In part four, I'm gonna be breaking down the lamb's quarter and the red root pigweed in the kitchen. And in part five, I'm gonna be cooking up something really nice with the amaranth and the lamb's quarter. I hope you'll consider subscribing and be sure to click that notification bell so you'll actually be notified when I post a video. Let's get going out into the weed patch. Lamb's quarter is so wonderful when it's young. Even people that don't like wild greens usually like lamb's quarter. Lamb's quarter is pretty easy to identify. Its leaf shape is distinctive and so is that mealy coating that rubs off. The whole leaf is hydrophobic when it's put in water. Look at how the veins in the leaf are arranged. It's like the web foot of a duck or a goose. Duck, duck, goose. Duck, duck, goose. Now let's go forward in time. That's the older lamb's quarter. That's the flower head and seed head of the lamb's quarter. I'll cut one off. Can you see it up close? These are green. They're not mature yet. They're not bitter, they're just strong. Strong like spinach, strong like greens. I'm gonna go ahead and get a bunch of these off of here. See, there's gonna be more than enough. You can see that stalk's getting thick. Now let's take a look at the red root pigweed. Let's say you were gone. This is the amaranth for sure. You can see that seed head is so distinctive. And here's the, the leaves. You see that pattern is different, how that comes out. Got a long petiole. Look at that. And then you'll notice at the tip, at the tip, see how that's indented at the tip right in there? Can you see that? It's not a point, it's got a little indent. So this is the amaranth, and the question is, is it too old to eat? Because it had started going to seed. This part's flexible. I could still use the stalk. I can still use the leaves, but take a look at this. What I want to look for is, you see, even weeds get things like rust or disease or mildew or something. And so you don't want a disease leaf. You could have a good leaf. And so you go through and pull some. You can take the stalk. It's still plenty healthy and then choose what leaves you want. So you pick clean. So you can see for sure that it's the red root. That root's way too stiff to eat now, but it's got that pink right at the base. So I'm gonna cut that off and then bring this in. I'll get a few more. Cut the base off all those. And you can see right away there's going to be leaves that I don't want. I can still get some of the leaves out of that, so I will. I can even peel this stalk all the way down into here. The inside of this stalk is just fine. So the first thing I want to do is address this with the leaves. You can see that some of these leaves have issues. I don't want to eat that. You wouldn't 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 want to eat that. So I'm not going to eat the seed head or the leaves, but what I can do is just come in here and take off all the leaves, just peel that. That's gonna be fine, nice and good right in there. This one I'll peel. So you can see how that, that cuts easy now. I'm just gonna do that for each one of these is go look down the row. Those leaves are good. Take those, the older leaves are not. These younger leaves are fine. See, that leaf is fine. That leaf's fine. 
It's nice and tender, so I'm gonna put all that to the side. Here's one with a nice thick stalk. Let's just go down this row and look. These haven't been sprayed, it's just what happens as a plant goes through the season. In the summertime, things can get out of hand for a plant pretty quick. It's a lot different than the springtime when they are just growing so fast. So this leaf is fine, these are fine. These older leaves do not get bitter, they just get stronger. They get bitter if they're not cooked. They're, I would not eat this just straight up. But just cooking it, straight up cooking it, takes care of all that problem. It smells like beets is what it smells like. However you like to peel things, you can do it that way. If you had a vegetable peeler, you could do it that way. I think it's easier to start here and go that way and just peel it. See, that cuts just fine. If you ask me, could you eat the seed head? Not much bad about this plant, but, I, but even at this stage, I think most of that is chaff. Most of that's just chaff, so I don't even want to eat that. Maybe some people do. If you do, let me know down in the comments, but I just don't. It's still nice and green. It's not starting to dry down. When the leaves start to change color, that's when it's all over. So that's what I've got. I'll separate the leaves out. Leaves and the stems are going to cook at different rates. There's my stems. All peeled. Here's my leaves. I'm going to put the rest of this in the compost bucket and then I'm going to look at the lamb's quarter. Oh, here's the lamb's quarter. Now this stalk, I feel like that's hard, that's wood. That is, that's not bending at all whatsoever. That's just hard as all get out. There is no dealing with the stalk on that. Look at that. But the leaves are fine. But I can come in here, I can just pull off the leaves of this. They're all in fine shape. That goes in the compost. That is woody as all get out. You can see here how the shape of the leaf has changed, but it still has that pattern of coming here, here, and here, just like a duck foot or a goose foot. But there's no mistake in these flowers. Well, it's really probably better to do it this way rather than getting it all over. How easy is that? That's pretty easy. That's a lamb's quarter flowers. Can you see all that? It's pretty distinctive. There's not much that looks quite like that. There you go. There's what we've got. Okay, we're finally in part five. This is the whole point of foraging. We get to eat some really great food. So Colleen Wallace, I hope this helps answer your question about whether you have older lamb's quarter. If any of you see older lamb's quarter in your area or the red root pigweed amaranth, let me know in the comments below. In washing everything, I keep the amaranth stalks and leaves separate from each other and separate from the lamb's quarter parts. That's because they all cook at different rates. I'm going to make something really simple. I'm just chopping up the amaranth stalks and then I'm going to saute that with a little bit of onion. Even when amaranth and lamb's quarter are more mature, I don't need to blanch the leaves of the lamb's quarter or the amaranth or the stalks. They are so easy to use. That's why they make such great weeds to forage. If you find your plants are a little too bitter, then a quick blanch will take care of that too. After the amaranth stalks and onions have cooked some, I add the amaranth leaves next because they have to cook a little while. They're a more tough leaf than the lamb's quarter. I add some water to let everything cook a little longer. I cook the amaranth leaves for a while. It's not all that long, maybe five minutes at the most, but they cook down. You can see that the amaranth leaves cook down a lot. Then I add the lamb's quarter buds and leaves. You can see in this bowl how the lamb's quarter parts are still hydrophobic even though they're more mature. The leaves and the buds just float on top of that rinse water. I keep cooking everything until the lamb's quarter leaves wilt you can see that the lamb's quarter flower buds stay pretty much the same. They don't cook down. When everything is cooked down, then I take it out and put it in a bowl so I can make my next part. But it's okay to taste it right now. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I'm just making a quick omelet. It's a great way to eat a lot of different wild foods. I'll put a card up in the corner that links to another wild omelet full of spring weeds. Once I get the amaranth and lamb's quarter in as a filling, I add some fermented red bud flowers that I made this spring. They are really good. Oh, fat omelet. It's not a beautiful omelet. 
Oh well. I take the omelet out and let it sit for a while and then slice it up for my good lunch. I top it with more fermented red bud flowers because they are really good. And then I'm gonna put my peach buttermilk sherbet there. And I think that's pretty good. What are we gonna do? Have this right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. You see the little green? That's really good. All right. I'm gonna go off. I'll see you later. I hope things are going well at your place. Thanks for watching. Bye. That was delicious. So, so delicious.